about it, right? And like just get your thoughts. I want to talk on a national level, okay? And then we'll we'll uh, zero in on um, on New Jersey, right? But here's some stats, Vid. I think you're going to find interesting. You ready? Actually, let's see if you could guess it. In the United States, what is the median sale price in the United States? In the United States, yeah, yeah that's a tough one. I I would say right now, somewhere. In the whole United States, mm -hmm. throw a number out. I don't know, upper twos. Four hundred and two thousand. Wow, it's gone that high in the whole. Oh yeah. my god! When you started in this business, it was probably like a hundred thousand. Not yeah. even. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Four hundred thousand. Yeah. Medium. Oh my god! What's crazy in the United States is new listings. Uh, this is for the month of January. Um, there's only five hundred and ten thousand listings which is pretty flat um in the whole united states in the whole united states that's new like newer uh you know newer listings right right, right um right. months okay months of supply right so for the audience what that means is um you put a house on the, on the, all the house on the market right now if starting today no new houses go on the market and you just sell through the inventory that is the uh, months of supply right Correct. so basically what you would run through how many months of supply do you think there are? Right now, lucky if you have uh, two months of supply. Three months. Yeah. Three months. Two to three months. So yeah. three months. How many average uh, days on the market do you think you have in the United States? Houses that are on the market. Yeah. How many days are they staying on the market? Probably 10 to 15 days. So this is what's interesting. 49 days, the whole United States. Wow, so you got a lot of areas that the houses are actually still sitting. Some parts, like, especially like some areas like in Florida, um, houses are staying on the market much longer, and they're actually dropping prices. So, you know, we're, we're kind of, you know, we're ho focused on like North Jersey, right? Because that's where, you know, we do a majority of our business, but um, where, you know, like there's multiple bids, but it's not like that in the rest of the country. Now, I'm glad you brought that up. So in Florida, they're staying on the market longer. Yep. They're starting to reduce their prices. Yep. What do you think that means for for us? It's hard to say, right? Like, so it used to be, um, like, in, in the real estate market and in economics, um, you know, when uh, New York and New Jersey had a cold, Florida had the flu, right? That used to mm -hmm. be, like, that was, like, kind of the correlation between That's the two. That's what I'm trying, trying yeah, to Yeah, so it's hard to say. Like, so if you're talking about, like, where the market is going to go in North Jersey, it's hard to compare it, though, to Florida because the the economy is a little bit different here, right? Like, um, you know, there's there's the economy's better in, in the in the New York metro area, I think, than it is in Florida. Than it is in Florida, yeah. right? But you, the other thing you got to remember too, think back in you know, two thousand eight, two thousand nine, two thousand seven, mm -hmm. six. Florida got hit before we did. Right. Right. Yep. So right after Florida got hit, naturally it took a little while, and, and it did come up to us. Yep. So if Florida's getting it now, it's a good possibility that we might start getting, you know, prices to come down. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but if you look at history, that's what I think happened, you know, many years ago. So let's preface this by saying um – you know, like whatever you and I are talking about, we're not saying like this is not advice. This is not advice. This is Absolutely not advice. Not. And we're, yeah, we're just, you know, we're just talking, talking. That's it. So to your segue. Right. So a couple of sources here. Right. So um, going back to uh, the the MBA, which is the Mortgage Bankers Association. OK. Uh, purchase applications were down year over year in January. Twelve percent. OK. So year over year, purchase applications are down, which could be a you know a little bit of buyer fatigue, whatever the case is. Um, Redfin has a home buyer uh, demand um, index, and uh, home buyer demand on their index is down eighteen percent. Now those are good, and those are samples, right? But I like this one, okay, because this is probably the most accurate. Google searches for homes for sale year over year are down about eleven percent. Wow. Yeah. And then finally, um, touring activity, right? So um, showing time, um, I guess they're a technology company. Mm -hmm. um, it, uh, showing time actually has reports that um, uh, touring activities up 10%. There you go. Now here, 
we're talking about the Northeast, North Jersey, and everything else. Florida, you know, it's a little slower. Yep. I was talking to an agent the other day. He had 52 offers on his property. Yeah. 52. It's crazy. So that, but that, but again, getting back to the other part where, hey, we think it's going to happen. It ain't happening anytime soon. Right. You're getting 52 offers on, on, on a on a property. Yeah. That that's just insane. Um, so now let's, you know, let's just kind of fast forward a little bit, right? So four weeks ending February 11th, right? So basically from the beginning of the year to February 11th, right? So we have a little bit more of a, um, of a snapshot of four window, four, four week window, right? The, um, median asking price, uh, is down to 395. That's national. This is national. Don't forget. Do you want to guess nationwide what the median monthly mortgage payment is? Hundred thousand with taxes, everything. Just included. the mortgage, not the tax oh, insurance. Ju ju just the mortgage. You're probably twenty two to twenty five hundred. Twenty six hundred. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that, that's not bad. Something. Hit the back of that Robert Graham collar. <laughs> <laughs> so um, and months of supply um, from so now remember we gave you the, the three month supply reform supply was uh, you know year over year, but the past four months so it's February twenty third today so the fa past four weeks I'm sorry. Um, you're still at 4.2 months of supply and average, um, time on the market, uh, 50 days, but 22% of homes sold above listing. Yeah. You're still seeing them uh, yep. above listing. We still have a crisis here in New Jersey yep. in, in our area, you know, Passaic, Morris, Bergen, and, um, you know, Essex County. All right. I'll give you an example. Why the prices are still as high as they are and why you're getting the 52 offers and everything else. I was on the computer the other day and I said, eh, let me check North Halden. Mm -hmm. I have a brother-in-law, sister-in-law that live in North Halden. How many houses are for sale? I click on two houses come up. One's an attorney review and one said highest and best the next day. Yeah. So if somebody was looking to purchase a house in North Halden, there's nothing out there. Nothing. So now, what would happen if that one house comes up in North Halden for sale? Everyone's flocking to it. Everybody's flocking to it. That's where you come back with the with the 52 offers. Yeah. It, well, it, it, it's crazy. And it's funny because the metro areas that have um, the largest um, uh, year over year of median sale price, um, five top five, right? Number one, Newark area which is our area newark mm -hmm. metro area covers um most of north jersey white plains new right, york right. number two new brunswick which pretty much covers um you know like uh central most jersey central jersey yeah. right then you have miami anaheim and warren michigan i don't know how, how to hell warren michigan, michigan no there, offense yeah. to warren michigan but i don't know how the hell they got there <laughs> but uh, is it near detroit <laughs> yeah i don't know i never even heard of it uh, <laughs> but you know so it's uh you know, and so that just shows you, like, you know, taking it back to a level of where we're at is, I mean, if you live in New Jersey, it's time to sell. It's Absolutely. a great time to sell. It's the best time to sell. And you you keep telling everybody, hey, you know what? There's nothing for sale. What's going to happen if you put your house on the market? You're going to get top dollar. You're going to get more than top dollar. People are still waving, you know, appraisals, waving inspections, waving everything just to get that house purchased, right? Yep. They're doing whatever they got to do. Again, as long as you price it correctly, you're going you're gonna to get a good price. That, that brings me to this, right? Mm -hmm. I know someone right now that's going through this. Okay. A retired couple. Okay. Okay? And we've talked about this in our show plenty and pl many, many times, mm -hmm. okay? He's got a small reverse mortgage on the property. Okay. The house is basically paid off, Okay got an unbelievable price, which I don't even think it was possible to get that price. The house actually appraised. He's ready to go. Now he's having cold feet. Okay. Where am I going to go? What am I going to do? Where am I going to go? Just him and his wife. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why, well, go rent something. It's, if you can't buy anything now, rent something for, for, for a year. Right. Okay. Okay. Now, he's got a little reverse mortgage, mm -hmm. and I know the reverse mortgages naturally, correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. 
you're paying the interest, but the interest just gets tacked on. Correct. Correct. Okay. So that's it's a reverse. It's so a reverse. A, a, a mortgage, forward mortgage, you pay the interest. Reverse, reverse mortgage, mortgage, typically, they put it on. They top. gets tacked onto the principal. Tacked on top. Right. Okay. So his principal, his re, his interest might be say five hundred bucks a month. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's got a little little, little reverse mortgage. Paying, I believe, over eleven percent. Right. Over eleven percent on a reverse mortgage. Yep. Now, he's gonna probably bank say six hundred grand. Right. Yeah. It's a lot of money. Yeah. Okay. That's your nest egg. That's your your money you're gonna walk away with. Right. I keep telling everybody, and I, I can't stress this enough: take the six hundred, put it in the bank. If you're getting five percent, it's thirty grand. Nah. That's giving you twenty five hundred a month. Well, right. I'm gonna go rent. It's gonna. I'm throwing my money away. Twenty. No, you're not. No, you're not. Because your interest is paying that rent. But yep. besides that, if you're paying five hundred on interest only on your reverse, you're paying eight nine hundred on your taxes, another hundred on insurance. That's about fifteen hundred a month. You're paying out of pocket while you're living in the house and not getting any interest on that six hundred grand. Yeah. So what's it costing you? A thousand a month? That's a no brainer. I, you know what the you know what the problem is is that I think sometimes, especially in finance, right? Mm -hmm. Especially in real estate, everyone has like um, a cookie cutter answer, right? Like it's you know it's like what they were brought up to think or what their parents told them or whatever, right? So like sometimes I hear that like the rent thing you just said, right? Like oh I'm throwing away my money. You're not though. Like you, you know, like you have to like sometimes the finance is all about timing and strategy, right? Right. So, you know, in certain cases, right? Like you go your whole life maybe, and you don't buy a house, and you know, and and you just pay someone else's mortgage by renting. Like, okay, maybe in that situation, you did you could have better took advantage of buying a house, right? But in that client's particular case, without knowing their overall financial picture, it may make sense to. To rent, even if you did, even if it was two grand a month, twenty four thousand a year you paid in rent, you still are ahead of the game because you sold your house and pocketing six hundred. Right. Yeah. So like, what's and you know what? And there's another factor to it. Like you're not going to be stressing. Take a year, mm -hmm. look for your home. And you know, on the flip side, okay. And it's funny now, like that we're we're talking about this. On the flip side, let's say that same customer sells their house and then rents. Right. What, you know, who's to say within five months, six months, when they make an offer on a home, they're going to be a better position buyer because they don't have anything to sell that's right that's right so they, in 